All right, let's see it. First match of the top eight here. Can Chun Li get that space to be able to build up some of that meter? Oh, <laughs> closes up that space right now. Getting right in on Cosmos. Oh, this could be big here. Oh, this could not be big here. Okay. I mean, had to dash backwards there to try and get away from Chun Li legs. Keep that pressure going, but the mashing oh. crouching line and gets the, dude, the launch against both. Yeah, I think Eccentric was coming down with a jump light there. Maybe should have came down with a jump S if he was gonna push anything. Oh no, Phoenix is gone. This game is over. Yo, Wygraph coming through with the sub. Thank you so much, homie. Ten months. Oh. <laughs> Nash and a the hell out of crouching light, bro. <laughs> oh, we might be back in business if we're getting rid of Morgan, though. Man, Morgan body so small. Almost, almost struggled there. All right, we're the only one with Morgan on a team now. But Cosmos has Virgil, and he's going to DAC right into it. No, he's not. Yeah, definitely surprised to not see him try and take that advantage here. But Astro activated once again. Oh, Crouch H almost had it there. And is able to find the standing low. I mean, in that spot, you can see Cosmos just trying to hold up. Was in a position where he thought the Chun-Li legs were going to keep him in the air long enough. I don't know, drops the infinite off the TAC, though. My favorite confirmed. Yo, LMD coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. So you have to base tiers on matchup lists, on your matchup spread. And Morgan has a better matchup spread than Zero. For the, for the fact that they both beat every character in the game. You know, but Morgan beats Zero. Shadow Servant. Oh, he messed up. That's the wrong super. You do not want to mess up here. Ooh. Doesn't matter, you still have to take 950 50s afterwards because of good luck on assist. Eccentric looking real strong here, taking the first game. And you got to think here, the viewers are thinking 82% in favor of Cosmos right here. Eccentric ready to prove everybody wrong. Gets another TAC, this time to the side. Once again, misses the infinite though. Doesn't matter because it's all part of the master plan. I mean, three meters built up at this point. Partag, it gets oh, almost had it. But a rare situation where Morgan's buttons aren't quite big enough. You know, zero would have hit. Zero <laughs> probably, zero yeah, probably yeah. better character. Wow, the standing light works out for him again. Centric making really good use of his normals. Not really playing a super zone heavy Morgan. Even though he's got four meters, I don't think he wants to save all of them for Phoenix. He's willing to spend. Yeah. Good push block there. Could maybe come down with a stand or jump heavy. Yeah, we're definitely talking about that oh, earlier. No. He's able to get the happy birthday again. As soon as he gets himself into a spot where he gets to four or five meters, he can pretty easily cash it out to be able to, uh, you know, loop things together, get those astrals going. All right, Eccentric is my hero. All up the Doctor Doom though now. Photons gonna hit? No, they do not. As long as Eccentric doesn't spend any meter, he should be fine. Look, he's just jumping over, calling Morgan. He's like, I got this. I mean, at this point, you can just kind of mash Morgan. Not too worried about it getting punished. There's the reset and the oh. X, but he drops. Oh, this might actually, oh, I was going to say, that could have been a chance for Cosmos there. Cosmos might be getting some input issues here. Definitely got some questionable buttons out. But Eccentric is playing on fire right now, bro. He's got to clean up those combos. You know what I mean? I feel like Eccentric is can beat anybody barring barring a combo drop. But himself. <laughs> That's where you're headed. I think most guys can beat themselves. Block on the first fireball, still trying to close the distance. Can't quite find it as we get Astro booted up once again. Just sit up at the top, man. Let Astro Vision go. Try to call your assist when you can. Get Morgan in now. Oh, getting caught in the bullet hell. 
I mean, Cosmos is on no bars right here, so as long as you survive this and don't get hit, you should be pretty okay. Dude, but look at the life total here. And no! gets the tag! That is no way no. that meant for that to be the tag. That was not uh, it. That was not it. Phoenix just gets sacrificed, man. But the thing is, is Centric has been winning with Chun and Morgan on its own. Phoenix has not been a factor in these two games. Yeah, and same as Chun Lee in this one. Astral still up, still having Meteor available. There's just not much to do here. Eccentric is going to participate in the Fireball War, but I don't know how much that's going to matter here. Not much. And see, that's another thing Morgan does well over Zero, is negates your X Factor. She does not care if you have X Factor or not. Zero still has to be concerned. Once she gets started, it's all over. Okay, so the, I love the triple jump and then stall here. Yep. Always making sure we're in a place where we're able to activate that assist. Even having been hit by a couple drains, still at two bars at this point. We need to at least have three before Chun goes out. Uh, Chun's going to go out the hard way here. Sentry bring his own Morgan in, but Cosmo can spend his meter a little bit more freely. Look at the patience as the fireballs. Oh, it doesn't matter though. Eventually you're gonna get hit by one. There's too many. Eccentric still calling Chun Lee assist though. That's a little, a little scary. I respect it though. Full screen too. Did you see the stop <laughs> on Rapid Slash? Ooh! What a conversion there. That was disgusting. I didn't even know she could move that way. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, somebody cue the T Pain, bro, because I'm in love with it. Never mind. <laughs> That was ridiculous. That movement? Actually crazy to see that off the fireball. And Eccentric not having any problems with the Chun-Li infinite, you know? You know, we dropped every Morgan infinite, but Chun-Li infinites, no Got problem. Him. How does she stay in the air so long? How many air air actions does she get, bro? Dude, and the back hitbox of the DP as well for the side oh. swap, but it doesn't matter. All your fancy tech, I'm foot diving. Uh-oh, Cosmo's actually in strong position or was in strong position here. <laughs> That's so scary when he's sitting up at the top like that, just flying around. Oh, no. Bad hard tag here. That's going to lose Chun-Li, and you're going to lose Morgan by default here. And the best part about this is Cosmos is going to go into Phoenix with a lot of meter here. That's what you exactly need. You need that because you can DHC in the swords, and he kept all five. What a block there. Oh, the DHC is coming real fast. He realized he was in bad position. Another phase, he's gonna pop it right here. All right, but that's gonna hit Virgil. Can he convert? No, he cannot convert it, but it's all right. Virgil is stuck in the corner now. What's he supposed to do? Well, for now, just needs to survive. Don't take any chip, don't take any risks. Look at the clock though, 15 seconds. Oh, those fireballs are still gonna hit there. And he's built up quite a bit of meter for himself. Still plenty of X Factor too, one teleport. Which way are you gonna go? You gotta go above him, right? 10 seconds left. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, one trap, one mix up. He's going to switch sides, but it doesn't work, though. Got to put on the healing field. Oh, doesn't no. Even need <laughs> what healing field for Virgil? <laughs> he, said, he said, call the healing field, but not for me. <laughs> hey, there you oh, go. Oh, man. All right, all right. This is the other side of winners here. Usually DXP doesn't make it this far on the winner's side, you know? Not that I'm surprised because obviously he's one of the best players out there, but usually he doesn't try it as hard. Usually he busts out the Ryu by then. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, gets, he, gets, it. he gets bored. He must have not had nothing to do tonight. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna win the tournament, I'm bored. That's a good call, bro, right? There we go, we got the kill here, looking good for LT. Ops back to the Nova. Yeah, maybe he won't win the tournament though. <laughs> LT gonna put a stop to all of this. Oh, yeah, hard tag. You already know Doom's coming through here. You know, it's like one of those moments where you maybe snap, but I like LT to go through the whole team. I think LT likes his incoming mix-up here. This 50-50 has a 75% chance of hitting. <laughs> we go grab off the top. Okay, X-Factor, stand jab, LT ready for it. 
Wow, what a first match. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Somebody ban Epitomizer from the chat just because I feel like it, please. <laughs> I really don't. I'm not in the mood for that shit. Oh, what a Vodger call. I always remember, guys, if you don't like watching something on TNS, don't watch it. That's my shit. <laughs> you gonna tell me what to do on my channel? There we go, LT, man. Got the Virgil out of here very cleanly. Now, DSC, DSP got pretty far in bracket to be losing the LT there like this without putting up much of a fight. He's gonna change something here, man. He's just steamrolling them right now. Photon's got to slow him down, but that might not slow him down. X-Factor forced. One more Vajra could do it. Oh, the teleport. Oh, that's going to connect. Connect with what? There. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, stay in free. That's why you my goat. Okay, X Factor, yes, Jawbreaker coming out right away. Yeah, that's the best part about LT. He doesn't miss out on any opportunities, you know what I mean? He doesn't let you get any either. Yeah. Okay, looking for the snipe on the grapple here. He at least wore out all the X Factor. Oh, that's going to connect. Yes, look at the trade out. He can get there in time. I'm still just surprised that it traded. You know what I mean? Spencer's crazy, bro. No, I mean, I thought Spencer would just outright win. I don't know what part of the beam he got hit by that he got knocked back in that weird way. I mean, at the tail end, you know, it's like three, three fourths of the screen just generally hits. And then right at the tail end, he might have got the distance, the max. I don't think you know what you're saying right now. Might be at the end of the max <laughs> of the distance of the bionic R. I hate you. <laughs> he said, what is English? Bro, grammar's hard. Oh, okay. DXP still in it. Oh, yeah. He's going to be able to take care of Spencer here. And Doom is going to be a one touch. Okay, 16 seconds. Time rolling. They both have the same idea, looking for a throw. Oh, but LT comes down with a tri-dash light. That's my dog. Damn, DXP was doing pretty good, too. I thought that mix-up was going to work out. That could have been his game right there. Definitely for sure. I think it's one of those things, though, where LT is so good at blocking these incoming mix-ups, and he's seen so many at the highest level. You got to hit him with some stuff he's not expecting. You know what I mean? Almost something too simple. I mean, at this point, you've seen all of Doom Strider, Virgil. Like, what are you really going to not get hit by, you know? Yeah, I mean, Doom's not a character that you see every day, right? Uh, get it, Keep get going. It. <laughs> Look for the snap here. Going after Doom. Oh, and catching at the bottom with the light. Here we go, DXP. Let me close the building three here, but should be able to kill two. We go with the sword, should be good. Next mix up is crucial. You cannot let Spencer hit the ground. Almost had it, just didn't believe. That's the DT activated, though. You see that at the top. Oh, almost, almost counter called with the beam there. No way, he's going after the assist. Yeah, easy high time X Factor. Good stuff from DXP here. Now Spencer coming back. Does have the X Factor, so you have to beware for the bionic arm. X Factor, jawbreaker, no overhead. Good guess on DXP's part right there. That's too fast to react to. You just have to guess at that point. Oh, great patience from LT though. Able to block all of this. Oh, none of it. He got absolutely blasted here. LT making the Spencer comeback potentially. Oh, wow. No conversion, though. Oh, what a punish on Strider. All right, LT is ridiculous. Not letting you get those calls for free here. The 
for the air to air. Almost had it there. All right, look. Oh. Game of chicken. <laughs> oh, game of cat and mouse here. I don't know who's the cat, though. DXP's like, bro, I don't want to play. <laughs> Is he, did he just taunt? <laughs> he did taunt. That was oh, a taunt. And there you go. And there's a foot dive for your troubles. I guess that's what you get. <laughs> all right, all right. DXP putting himself on the board here. Doctor Doom. I always said Doctor Doom is his best character, though. You know, this Doom's really good. 2024 Marvel tea bags and taunts in neutral. <laughs> Oh, DXP though may not be in for long. Obviously, attacking Doom is going to go for the super and the DHC. Clean up most of this. <laughs> Arrow Angelus, you can see 25 months. Appreciate you. Oh, drop there? But oh, oh the hard tag was expected. LT knows every move. Getting into maneuver should be able to build that extra bar as well. Has a couple extensions as well as assists. Yeah, the 80k does massive damage. Another 80k. You know, you look at that health bar and you wonder, is it going to be enough? And it's always enough. Like, why do we even think about it? Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> LT said you're blocking too well today. One crouch jab and then he blocks. I respect it, though. Okay, Orb didn't get too much here. Just about half the life off of Spencer, but that's not too much of a consequence. Goes for the super, doesn't get the hit. He said, just get me out of here right now, bro. Uh, he's gotten a couple stray hits here, but not able to convert. Right, it is raining striders from the sky. You know, sometimes in X-Factor, I feel like Strider is so fast, there's more than one coming out. Ooh, a tick throw would have been perfect right there. Almost with the happy birthday. Got to watch out for the pulse, though. That pulse will stay in there forever. It's still there right now. No way. I was going to say, we're about to see some new tech if that converts. <laughs> Good Ooh. lord. Safe way in the orbs here. Got to waste out the X-Factor if you have a chance. Got to get the kill here, too. Fortunately, takes, like, no chip. Doesn't get the kill. Really gets nothing done with the orbs other than getting Nova out of the corner. There's the tag, and it works out perfectly. Oh, anti-air jabs here from LT, and that is it. Damn. I respect that. See Curly in the chat. Big shout to the homie Margo. Wow, right off the rip, you thought you could escape with the super jump. Lariat actually answers the trades back and forth. A little scrambly, but back to neutral. That's a, quite the start. Now, Yoli was able to actually take down a Hagar before he got in the top eight. He's the one that eliminated JJ Creed. So we'll boo him later for that. But uh, <laughs> we'll see if he can get past this Jason Kiddo Hagar, though. Kiddo's built different. He is different, that's for sure. But Yuli, Yuli Zero is kind of wild, though. He can definitely take advantage of Kiddo here. Using that rapid flash, maintaining distance, getting the chip. Good raw tag. Manages to get away with it. Oh, great air to air with the jam session here. Okay, the basic extensions should just need one little cycle of loops to be able to get that kill. But Ron will cook. Hagar might die before he even touches the ground. Yeah, you might be right about that one. Jam session just in the front. That's all it takes. Curly said the TS and TNS stands for Taylor Swift. Actually, uh, the TS stands for Terror Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what that is. <laughs> Shout outs. Oh, and Magneto solo. I mean, there are opportunities here. Shockwave, definitely a good way to start it. I like the x Spectrum response from Yuli, though. And he's so cool about it. What a confirm. Oh, Yuli on it right now, man. Super Koha definitely works out beautifully. Keep it safe. Keep it simple. Moving on forward. Oh, oh 
Okay, catching both of them. Happy birthday for Kiddo here. <laughs> Shout out to Pit Mother. <laughs> Here's a super and the DHC. Cook him up. X Factor, yeah, I gotta get them both if you're gonna hit them both. And being able to set yourself up for stalking flare there is even better, especially because look at how high it hits. Super meaty. But that hit button had special knockdown, but wasn't ready for it. Oh no, had the whole game in his hands. There we go. Should be able to finish OTG into the super, cooks him up. And that is what you get. If you get an opportunity to get a stalking flare meaty on Virgil, it, it has to kill him. You ha yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you're going to spend the bar, bro, you got to catch Virgil. You're 100% correct. Oh, what a throw from Yuli here. Back throw in a perfect pickup. Oh, drops, but low profiles. Naturally, low profiles the Lariat. And then you see up backs to completely cover normal jump height. So smart. Yuli has everything dialed up, but unfortunately, not as combos. <laughs> not as combos, but he's still in it, though, man. Magneto's in chip range. Got to look for the hard tag. Did that headbutt hit? It, it looked like it did, yeah. <laughs> and then combo? Zero's too good, bro. He's too small. He got hit by a headbutt, crouched, and Lariat missed. <laughs> I actually, that actually checks out. Yuli here, dominating right now. That's a huge hit on Dormammu. Leaving him with just Hagar and Magneto, that would be catastrophic for Jason Kiddo. I mean, this hit was the Yuli. He TK up lightning to stop a super dump. Too good, too good, man. He's covering the air. There we go, full screen, age. Hagar ain't double jumping. Oh, Ooh. he said, you're not going to get another hit on my Virgil. Don't talk to me or my anchor ever again. <laughs> not quite working out from the top rope. It's a scary looking super, but you just have to remember it's not invincible. Yeah, I, very rarely do you see somebody actually hit it intentionally like that. <laughs> you got to see the big body chest coming down. It's scary. Oh. Yuli is on it right now. Scary or not, Yuli, no fear. The X Factor and the kill, dude. Yuli putting on right now, 3-0. Jason Kiddo. Oh my God. Bro. He said he never heard of Jason Kiddo before. I have people threaten my life, I don't ban them. I'm like, come back next week. Yeah. <laughs> threaten somebody else though, then I have to ban you, you know. All right, so starting off the Deadpool, definitely the correct choice with the team here. Trying to avoid these missiles, but you can't. There's no way that all fell into place. Zero falls into just the neatest and tidiest package. That is the most hand delivered kill of a robot I've ever seen. Bro, I don't like the way it. you said package, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's, that bothered me a little bit. Oh, what a great. <laughs> what a great super. Can you keep going? Oh my God. Yo, Remora, though, man. That's that experience, though. You know what I mean? When you see hits like that, well-timed against the assist when they're out there, that's when you know the experience is paying off. Local weatherman coming through with the gift, or coming through with a sub, 26 months, thank you. Don't say that, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> with the jab, faking the tick though, does not fall for it, but still finds the air throw afterwards. So with the kill of Deadpool, Ryu coming in, half his life off the table. Virgil teleports, same side. Yeah, he just wanted to kind of keep him in the corner there. Just went for the meaty. My boy scheming. He went for the DP. He tried. Yeah, 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 yeah he did. <laughs> oh, the collarbone breaker for sure was DP. All right, but okay. I was going to say Akuma had a chance, but he's not even going to get to use his X Factor. Moore would have to drop a big combo here. I don't think he's going to do that. I don't know. I've seen crazier hands. things. <laughs> Sometimes it's out of your hands. He spaced that well, though. I like nah, the little step it, back. Made it. sure he's in the right place. Damn, big time. I'm going to let that one slide. Big I was going to let it go. I read that one. I we all had to stop. Bro. I was going to let it go. <laughs> we, we all stopped. We all said, Matt, oh. Bastard. <laughs> I respect it, though. We all had to stop commentating because of that one. 
I hate that I read everything. <laughs> Sometimes well, I wish I did. I, I don't even read the comment <laughs> like that. Tom said, what do you say? I usually only watch between <laughs> matches, but that one I had to see. All right, all right. Ramora, though, obviously, obviously the favorite here. You know, 83% voting for Ramora. You know, Zenpool making it in the top eight is a feat in itself just because he's playing from the West Coast. You know, he's got the more delay of the connection, and also he's got the low-tier team. But obviously, we're all big Zenpool fans here. No, Ramora kind of good. Ramora kind of nice, though. Yeah, Zenpool yeah, yeah. says see me offline, though. Yeah, good choice to X-Factor. Big Ramora fan right now. The Fragile coming through with the sub five months. Thank you so much. Oh, Tatsu getting blown up right there. And the fireball juggles. Just everything comes together. All right, so that's going to set us up for the anchor once again. Didn't even get to touch the ground last time. It's going to be more of the same. No, an opportunity. Yeah, I wasn't able to convert the lightning there from Morris' side. He might pay for that one. Oh, rapid slash saves here. Zenpo, how are you playing? <laughs> Level yeah, one our, our feed is delayed by 10 I always seconds. Forget sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> he's uh, he's typing 6,000 <laughs> words a minute. He's in the chat. Oh, yeah, if Zero didn't have Buster, he moves down a huh. massive portion of his gear list. Still great. Uh, I don't think he's massive. I mean, massive is great. Uh, he loses loops. He loses cancels. He's not as safe anymore. He right. He right. <laughs> I, I, still, I still see him being like a top 12 character, I guess. Yeah. Better than That's numbers. 10 spots down. Though. Yeah, you right. You right. <laughs> <laughs> Math checks out. <laughs> For now, you know, still comfortable in his two spot. There you go, into the lightning loops, cook him up, Deadpool down. With Deadpool down, it's looking grim. Yeah, nothing wrong with the two spot, man. Jordan was a two guard. Oh, Virgil getting smoked right here. On the way. Ooh, he got it! Almost. Wow. Able to get to the other side and convert. Lempo was just holding that charge. Oh, Akuma also just not long for this world. Yeah, and that's going to be the end for our hero, Zenpool. One of our favorite players, one of the nicest guys in this community. Unfortunately, he's going to have to be watching from the bench for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, congratulations on a good top eight, though. Obviously, as always, same age, homie. Too old. All right, back to it. Yuli, who again, who's been... Playing kind of monstrous right now, facing off against Cosmos. Already a pretty decent start here. Didn't take too much damage. I mean, half your life on zero, but you didn't gain another bar, so you're going to get to play a little bit of fair neutral. Never mind. It's never, it's <laughs> never fair, especially when you have more doom, bro. Right, Cosmos did not like losing there earlier against Accenture. He wants that run back. Air to air, bring him back down. Yes, good stuff here from Yuli. Oh, for the snap here? I like that. We got a kill, right? We yeah, got a kill. We have right. to do it. If you're going to snap, you always need the kill. Don't waste the resources. I feel like there's two mindsets when you're in the loser side of a top eight, right? Not that I've ever been in the top eight. But, uh. You've ever been in losers? <laughs> Not that I've ever been in losers. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you know, I just feel like there's some people who are like, man, I hope I can win another round. I hope I can just keep on going. And there's other people that are just benchful. Like, I got to get back and beat that motherfucker. You know? I like that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Cosmos has that energy. I, I don't think I've ever been good enough at the game to have that energy. I've always been like, hey, I can't believe I'm in top eight. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers really let me in here. <laughs> So I went three and two in drowning pools. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Look for launcher twice in a row. Was just trying to snipe a shell kick, maybe. Cosmo still fighting though. Even without Virgil, you got Doom in or the back. Doom. Yeah, yeah. You got Doom missiles. That's all you need. That's the thing. Every time I make a top eight, you know, back in the day when I used to actually do it, um, I always felt bad. Because I know whoever I beat was better than me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, damn, I stole that guy's opportunity. He probably would have won the tournament. He just paid how much to get here? <laughs> damn, he lost a rocket punch. I lost to some rocket punch user. 
I mean, the only way I'd beat somebody is because they would drop one combo, fall on the Lariat, and I'd kill their whole team for it. They you used to, YouTube used to hate on you back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. You used to get mad hate for your team. It's crazy to think how much people like you. You used to be, like, YouTube's most wanted, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> nice hammer, by the way. <laughs> you know, Marvel going on the screen. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Yuli has to reset here. Oh, that might not be it. Oh, that was actually a good choice there, and it worked out perfectly. Oh my God. <laughs> Top rope, good God. Porky J, I do remember the AOL closing door sound. Actually, I kind of want to hear it again now. <laughs> nice. Oh. Waiting as long as he did, knowing he was going to be able to fix it with Buster for the cross-up is so sick. Too clean from Yuli here. That's the happy little bo Xbox for us. Uh, finally, somebody saying something I can't say out loud. <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> hey, YouTube, you guys want to see what he <laughs> Come watch us live on Twitch, 7.30 Eastern. <laughs> this is terrible. Every single Friday. Lockdown. Yuli's done a Ooh. great job of eliminating Virgil once again. This time, Cosmos might not get the fight at all. He's dissecting the team, man. Takes Virgil out, goes after the assist, leaves Morgan all to herself. Yeah, and I mean, your only real option to get out here is the level three, but that is such an expensive hard drive. You got to save it. You have to save it. You need to get at least the kill hit here on zero, build a little bit of meter before you actually can. Man, you know, Maybe zero is better. Watch it, Morgan shoot these fireballs all alone. I think he kind of feels bad. <laughs> like, oh, she's trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep that fireball pattern on the ground here. But I mean, Yuli is playing the matchup to perfection. Just survive. Yeah, but Cosmo still has three meters. He can do this for a while. Yeah. So Zero's got, I mean, Zero's got full health bar. I think he's like waiting for the moment. He's like, Yuli's gonna crack here eventually. And Yuli's like, no. <laughs> Yuli does not crack, bro. He is cracked. All right? My dude is on fire today. Dude, I gotta say huge shouts to Cosmos on that one for getting that opportunity. Actually being able to sneak in to find that overhead and gets the connection now. There's no way. You spend here, have your X for the next character. This is crazy. This is crazy, if he can make this happen. But Morgan doesn't have a lot of incoming mix-ups. Mid-screen. Now Dante's got double jump. He's avoiding all of that. Oh, he jumps. Able to clear the bullet. Oh, the blistering swords. Really good call here. And that works out perfectly. Yeah, at that point, all you can really do is like mash light and then uh, <laughs> Try and block it out. Is Allison G in this chat? I, that's a name I haven't seen in a while. Dang. That's the number one Remora fan. Follow up. Definitely like this. Get the kill in order, especially when you have these two high powered assists to follow. Ask you shower city call. Right. Really is crazy. TK medium light, he's just catching on incoming here, looking good for Yuli right now. Dude. And it's gonna go for the snap. I don't know who put Yuli in the losers, but this might be Yuli's night. I mean, you saw him kind of run through Jason Kiddo earlier. He's playing Cosmo super well right now. Yeah. Jason the Busters goes the distance, oh. interrupts, and bams oh. a meter two meters in a row. No way. Oh, so much of your meter just set on fire in that spot. Buster is really good to be able to delete some of the swords. And now priority on the mix-up. Nice block, but what are you going to do about the next one? No, instead he just goes zoning. Dude, these little level one and two Busters he's releasing has been causing havoc on Cosmos tonight. DXP, you the one that 3 0 Yuli? I just said I didn't know who won, bro. You can't do this. I did it, Tom. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> Good movement. Avoid most of the Sogan move. DXP just wanted some credit, bro. That's all. 
Like, I'm already out of this bracket. Good job, DX. Do you? Yeah. Actually, DXP still in this bracket, right? Or did he just? He just oh, lost he in winners. Lost. Yeah. He lost in winners. He's still winning. He's still winning. Losers is just casual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just he just needs to come in here and let us know. You know what I mean? Hit us with the Vince McMahon. It was me, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just going to activate the Astro in response to the Sogenmu here. Looks for the launcher, gets the jam session. Nice tech. Oh, looking for the raw launcher, though. Dante going to take a little bit of damage here, but Yuli's still in it. Oh, ouch. Even the chip damage is kind of kind of crazy. Damn, did you s he jumped over like four firewalls in a row. Huge chunk of it. Yeah, he ate the chip of four or five fireballs in a row. Like when you land down, this is all chip. Yuli hasn't gotten hit except for when he got in. Yep, switching up the fireball pattern at that point. Airplay forces him to crouch, interrupts the fireballs for oh. just a minute, but that's just enough time for a mix. You seen the startup of launcher right there and just getting blown up from it. Morgan's normal, just too fast. You know, usually we're pretty careful about what we say during the match because we know this part goes on YouTube. But we know most of our viewers on YouTube aren't watching right now. But if you are watching, you know, say hello. Let me know. Let me know if you got this far in a zero, a zero Morgan match. That's all I'm saying. Into game five? Into game five. That's going to be less than 10% of our viewers. Tongs like, I'm proud of y'all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> One person is going to time tag this and be like, if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Next week, we're going to give away a Victrix stick <laughs> in a game five of a zero morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach him. I'll <laughs> <laughs> be like, only accessible on YouTube. <laughs> Almost got him locked down with the jam session there. Has to break away from the missiles a little bit. Went for the command movement. Does get over them, so was able to charge the buster a little more. Plus the release again. Oh, looking for the shell kick there. Again, move. Trying to look for a little bit extra damage on Doom here. Half his life off the table, and Morgan starting to bleed as well. Really, this is about usually when he starts to look for a raw tag for Virgil. Can Cosmos look for it? No, he X's instead. Ooh, jam session catching. So clutch here for Newly. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. But we're not going to tell you when it's going to happen. It's just going to happen eventually. Oh, just out of range from the super jump. He needed the uh, butter gun on the way down to make it happen. Oh, missing the hit off the rapid slash there is really tough, too. Got the charge. Yes, bust a release here. Virgil with no X Factor. This is looking great for Yuli right now. Yeah, only two bars. This would be this would be a hell of a comeback. Oh. <laughs> it's like that should be cooked up. We are one full combo away from completion and moving on forward. Cosmos on the clock right now. Does get the drop, but gets the reset. Uh-oh. So again, move swords. Trying to get the DT to get some of that health back. Oh, oh the last one! Uh, not enough, unfortunately, for Cosmos. Yuli is going to take it and keep it pushing to the next round, you know? But which one of these guys is going to be playing the better Marvel? That's the question. So again, in response to the swords there, I like the Stinger, does get the extra damage on Doom. Legend said he didn't play well tonight. That's all right. That's all right. Not everybody can play well. I mean, half of y'all got to lose a match. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. Okay. More doing the thing now. Got the first hit. Can he get the first kill? Oh, yeah. Remora not trying to drop combos on DXP, bro. These guys, uh, this counts extra. He's like, you trying to take my money. Yeah, yeah. These guys are going to talk about it. Going for the snap, going right after Strider. Which normally would be a good call, but man, DXP's Doom is scary. Like, it's definitely one of the best anchor Dooms I've seen in a long time. But both of these guys actually super underrated Dr. Dooms. 
not talk about it though. I mean, unless it's me, I talk about it. Look oh. at that try dash out. No, no, what are you doing? He doesn't know. You know, honestly, this is an overrated Doctor Doom. I don't even know what I was talking about. That's ten on uh, matchup. No, I think he was trying to spear flame there. Oh, he got crossed up on the backside. Yeah, he messed up his input. A little unfortunate, but still. There you go, Remora. Very healthy first game. Oh, spear flame is DP forward, yes. but level three is it's just core circle. Forward. Yeah, yeah, I think he just missed. He the just DP. missed the input. Guess he's not playing clean marble. No, no, because if he it wouldn't have crossed up because otherwise it would, he would have had a uh, finger laser super. Heard. Yeah, yeah. But he DP. He, I mean, he uh, he level three the wrong way. Marvel. Aim the shower like level three, like Chris is level three. That would actually be hilarious. Axe King, definitely, it was a pretty convincing first game, but that's the best part about Marvel. It doesn't matter. Because you could turn into a different animal in game two or game three. Seen it plenty of times, being up 2-0 and then. Yeah. Just don't wait till game four. The math doesn't check out. And I always remember the proverb. Everybody gets one. Oh, everybody about to get two now. <laughs> All right, so we've seen the roadmap here from Ramora. Looks like it's going to be kill snap, which Usually, it's what you see against some uh, some point doom uh, anchor stuff. Serge, you tell it on yourself right now, brother. Let's see what you're doing with your free time. Mm. I can't even repeat it. Well, it's normally what we say about Strider being able to kill two characters in X Factor and Anchor really well. It's just the fact that Remora has Virgil and Zero, and they're pretty low health compared to the rest of the cast. That. Now, this is actually the character I like the least from DXP right now. I feel like all out of all the characters DXP has, this is the one that is actually least likely to come back, which is crazy to say. And as soon as I say that, though, of course. Underrated Strider play <laughs> coming out from <laughs> DXP. <laughs> oh, yes, the wall clinging, able to get it, but not finish. Still getting the kill on Virgil. Took a lot of time, but we have opportunity now. See, that's the one thing I don't like about snapping as a Strider when you're in X Factor 3, is that you already have very limited time because you do so little damage, right? You saw him play possum yeah, he there? He was playing it, dude. You <laughs> saw him play possum. He's pretending like he wasn't playing anymore. Legion? Oh, that was smart. Very smart stuff there. Missile's on the way down. What a throw. Can he convert? No. Oh, what a super jump from Lamar right there. Yeah, I mean, when you basically when you snap a character and the opponent still has all three characters, you're saying that I'm only going to kill one mm. at that point, at least while you have X Factor. Just too slow. Yeah, especially when your opponent has X Factor too. So. Queen star for DXP here. Keep it short, simple, get the kill here, swords, yes. Yeah, he got that off the throw, so the hit stun is uh, very much scaled already. So he can he can only get one move off of that combo. Oh, <laughs> he forgot about Strider. Oh, surprised we didn't see an OTG into an X Factor, but still, this is just as good. I didn't even got to keep your X Factor. Is he gonna choose to snap? Yes, he does, and he loves this tricky stuff on the mid screen. But this time, he just waits and goes for a throw. X Factor, maybe? No, he said he doesn't need it. I think he might have needed it, though. Let's see. Go back in the swords? No, he'll build another bar. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely going to get one more rep of the sword loop, and I think that should be enough. Always is. Oh, he didn't Why? go for the super, but that might hit anyway. Oh, good DAC for Ramora. But now he's going to give Virgil another chance, and he needs to pop X here. No, no, he went to DP. I thought he was going to Swords. Oh, both of them trying to look for the oh. throw. Both of them X Factor. Rabor gets the better of it. This is what happens when you don't finish your plate, brother. A split dive. Okay, good teleport out. Oh, no. He's going to lose Strider here. He is not. Really good choice by DXP there. Missiles might mess it up. You're definitely right about that. 
think there's a way to convert that if you teleport up. But obviously, there's too little time to react, and the forward throw Ooh. is valid. I think the missile is cleared enough to where he could have tried to ash and made it over if he I wanted. think you're right, for sure. Oh, got to so lose is that enough? No, he's still alive. No more. Oh, he did. <laughs> uh, he even saw there, uh, when DXP got the OTG, he got rocks on the second one. He must have just missed out on pushing two buttons there because he definitely wants Sphere Flame. He had the bar. So that's crazy. Stand A, table hits. Okay, into swords. Good block on the Rapid Slash, though. Yo, is that Angelic the GOAT in the chat here? No, big shots to homie Angelic. I've seen him in a minute. That's the release. Looking for the wall. Oh, TKM Lightning there. We're watching, we're watching the Yuli box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I can do that too. Good block off the super, though. Teleport finds a cross of Helmbreaker. Flying wow. cross green earth. Does that work that way? <laughs> The M, almost at it. Dive on the way down. Boots up the swords. Judgment orb, okay. With this, should be able to get the tag. Build a little bit more meter. X-Factor is available. Throw more, has a big opportunity for the comeback. DXP though, confident in his incoming. Oh, oh my god, in an air throw, the back throw. <laughs> and somehow Virgil got caught up in the middle of that. How could this happen to me? That feels right. On the low. Okay, got the block. Rapid Slash does connect. And that should do it with the bag. <laughs> hey, there you go. The optimal swords confirm. He said, I'm up 125 DXP. Oh, dude. God. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Eccentric versus Liberal Terminator. Like, look, if you were going to bet, you would always bet on LT. But, you know, in your heart, you hope that Eccentric can pull this out because you know he can. You know he can. Yeah, I don't want to see LT win. Yeah. Bring, bring his own bird to the battle, though. He said, if you're going to make it low and slow, uh, I'll give you a reason to approach. Yeah, this, act, this actually works out here for LT. Magneto, I feel like, does fare a little bit better. Never mind. I don't, that's think, I don't know. That's spinning bird kick. Meter kind of getting out of hand at this point. Ooh. Good low profile. Able to duck under most everything from the bird kick. Hard tag. Oh, punished right away. Great throw here from LT. Now, shout out to the local weatherman for the Wagyu one. That was, that was actually. <laughs> 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 that was the A5. <laughs> nice break of the TAC. <laughs> Fireballs back and forth. Trying to use the EM disruptor. Nice again. Yes. He's doing it at perfect height. Look at the TK, height he's doing it. TK EM Disruptor, man. Very good against Morgan when you get a chance to do it. As long as there's not uh, bullet hell going out loose. There we go. Off the throw. Good stuff from Eccentric here. Oh, we're going to get that Phoenix Phoenix mirror, bro. Spend the bar to take a kill. Very smart. But the hype, oh, almost had it, but able to get it with the dash cancel off the H. I love that from LT, too, because I feel like when people get that opportunity to go for the dash twice as Doom, they almost always hard kick the second time. I love that nah. he commits low twice. That's so smart. You Absolutely. gotta do it. There we go. Clean hit here on Morgan. Gonna get the Phoenix, though. Okay, good job away. Gets the air to air. Very nice. It's going to be the first one to pop on Phoenix here. The X missile time right is good. away. Oh, here it is. Hell's breaking loose. And it wasn't that big. It was anti climatic. Yeah, I mean, with missiles on the way and your opponent still having uh, their actual pop to come. That was a good teleport from Eccentric, though. It was. Uh, a main TNS? I'm actually not sure if a Canadian player uh, If, if it was one, it would be Quack. Quack. I think Quack has won one. Yeah, Cosmos is still, yes. I think Quack has won one. I think. Air to air. Nice. I love that delay, too, knowing the missiles were coming, but wasn't ready for it. Slotham? Slotham won Damn, one. Man. I mean, hey. I, you, <laughs> I forgot. You, you got to forgive us. We've done a lot oh of these. Oh, my God. A name I haven't heard in a long time. It broke with the mask on. Slotham was doing it, bro. 
It was a lot, bro. We've watched every single one. We've done so many Marvel tournaments at this point. Oh, King Carlos won one. Carlos. Yeah. True. Respect to the Great White North. Chat, y'all are real good. Keep it real. And here we go, man. LT on the tear here. Catching the Morgan very early. Looking for the TAC reset. Not going to find it, but still going to be able to find the kill. Way out in front right now. Got the throw. Okay, missiles are going to come through. Okay, great awareness from Eccentric, though. Still not out of this. As long as you have Dark Phoenix, you still always have a chance. All right, we're going to get the pop here. So missiles to follow down and try and cover at some point. What is that back turn nonsense on that combo? Ooh, look at the jump cancel out. Able to get safely. EM disruptor, but get blown up for it. Up his X Factor now, so LT all it doesn't even matter if your characters die, just kill time. All that matters is time. It, it's it doesn't really matter because you know he's gonna get to Dark Phoenix, and that's when the match finally starts. Oh. Okay, jump cancel out. Oh, what a teleport, but X Factor! Yo, just smash it. Stand jab, please, both of you. Yeah, Crouch oh. Light wins the day, LT! I mean, you got to be willing to swing in those spots. Anytime you're on the ground, you got to get you got to get the best game ever going. You know, one thing I noticed is how quick they hit rematch. Oh, bro, like so they ready. were like ready they're to go back so in. They're ready. dialed. I love it right now. Go for the reset. Okay, spinning bird kick. Able to connect here for eccentric. Oh, and gets the TAC down. A little bit extra meter just because. This is just crazy when it happens to a Phoenix player. That's it. That's a win-win situation, right? If you go side, the other Phoenix loses a meter. If you go down, you gain a meter. Oh, just raw launch? I love it. That's how, that's how we feel it? In the corner, TAC, big TAC, <laughs> just because, okay, just, you know, we do those. Because he can. Here we go, finish it up with the infinite here. Okay, got it all set up. He is good to go. Probably never die asking about it. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe LT's picking this as a counter pick, but he's just been playing it in Parsec lately. Yeah, he I, just plays this sometimes. I've been playing a, a lot. I think it's a good pick for some uh, some game. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> he hits a four dash cross up foot dive in the corner. And this has been the situation so often. LT being able to have an assist and have another character to have some more time with Dark Phoenix. Just no, he said, no, we're going to do this now. <laughs> Got the clean okay. hit. She's going to pop. I mean, is it is it more advantageous to pop first, don't you feel? Uh, I would say yes normally, but with the introduction of missiles, things are a little more complicated. Just like that, it's going to be able to block it. Oh! Oh, my God. He plays it like a seasoned Phoenix player. He was so ready for that. Bruh. LT is too good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So, so Hooters. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTube. Time for a zero mirror. <laughs> right up. It's going to be Yuli. Dude, I mean, we've been talking about how good Eccentric has been playing, but Yuli feels like the, Yuli feels like the main character tonight. He I gotta can be do honest. it. He can do it. Takes a little bit of damage there on Dante. Not too worried about it, though. As we dash over, looks for the down heavy instead of the, uh, the jump heavy. Put him in a weird spot. The hitbox comes out a little later. Ooh, Dante's getting blown up right now. Gotta watch his jam session calls. Ooh, looking for the TK Lightning. Not connecting here. Dante getting smacked again. Yeah, definitely a mess of assists kind of piling up at that spot. Look at the life totals now. Kind of got to reassess as we find the throw. Missiles get the pickup, and this is terrible for Yuli as Remora gets a fantastic confirm. Somebody said Twin Peaks is the Florida version of Hooters. Hooters is the Florida version of Hooters. We have it here. The first Hooters ever, I think, is in Clearwater. Yeah, yeah. it's like less than an hour away. <laughs> I've been. I see it all the time. I'd just be standing outside. If, no, I drive those, by. Those, <laughs> lady, those ladies have been working there a long time. <laughs> oh, I respect God. the hustle, though. Ouch. Ramora wants it, bro. Ramora wants it. You can feel it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you can yeah, always yeah. tell when somebody wants it a little bit more. To, you know, 
Shout out to anybody who's still watching this on YouTube too, by the way. That's how I know you're a real one. Zero Mirrors, you're still in. I love, I actually like watching Zero Mirrors, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's very interesting. I don't like watching the loops, but like the actual neutral is actually fire. I definitely agree. I'm still talking about Twin Peaks in the chat. Isn't there a different restaurant we can talk about? Oh no, the Buster didn't quite charge. So I was able to escape. The X Factor burned for Remora with no kills to show for it. That is such a heartbreaker. Attack coming soon. Yeah, absolutely. Gets away with it. DXP, shut your mouth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll be, I'll be telling, I'll be telling on me. Back, back into zero while he has a little bit of life left over. Finds a launcher somehow. Gonna hit when it matters, man. X Factor running out here for Yuli. And obviously, Ramar with the advantage here with the incoming mix on his side. Oh, oh. the delay. That was kind of sneaky. The block stun into the delay. He can confirm. No can't. Trying to set up for the unblockable. Goes for the alpha counter, and unfortunately, doesn't need an unblockable. A clean hit will do, too. All oh, up the Virgil here. Swinging. Able to catch zero. Doom going to take a little bit. No surprise. That worked out that well. He finds another hit. I lied. I think Yuli wants it more. I'm really surprised he didn't teleport and just go for the super. No, I feel like he was close to getting a kill on Dr. Doom. It would have been worth it. Yeah. Especially because he still would have had another meter to go in the sword if needed. Mm, another character does get the kill this time, though. Greed pays off. Same side. Put dive right into the swords. It's going to drop. Oh, my. These <laughs> buttons. Bro. No hesitation on the helm breaker. It's like the only air normal that can stand up to the foot dive. He said Cliff for Franklin is the only one <laughs> <laughs> catching it. <laughs> the only one coming down with it. Oh my god! <laughs> we just had football movie night this week, and we watched the replacements. What a great movie! Yeah. Yeah. The winners always want the ball. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's all Yuli's ball now. He read Blitz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure he did. <laughs> We watched. Oh uh, we God. watched. Remember the Titans last week. That was. Uh, that's my but favorite football movie. We have a good time. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some longest yard here soon. Possibly. Oh wait! Oh, no punish. That was a huge lost opportunity there. Just gonna go for the DHC. Didn't want to pop the X's doom. Hey, how much farther can you push this with the missiles? Just gonna look for a reset now. Tag comes through, knew the round trip was gonna interrupt it. That was a great tag there. Boots up his own swords, but you already know. X Factor here for Remora, gonna take out the Virgil. Living Legends, any given Sunday is definitely one of the best football movies. Yeah. It's too good. Yeah, you put Pacino in anything. I think if it counts, I think Draft Day is my favorite. Oh, I we love that. Like We're a big Draft. Fonte Mac, movie. no matter what. That's right? a yes. No Fonte matter Mac, what. Yes. No matter what. That's probably my favorite. Spoilers. <laughs> hey, okay. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Dashes across. Yeah, I knew the missiles were coming. I've been trying to tell Tong about the program. I feel like I've already seen it. You I've watched every watch football it. movie. Oh, that was kind of a messy mix there. I'm not even sure where we're ending up. Remora. Oh, the foot dive. <laughs> okay, okay. Cash it out. Yes. <laughs> that got super sloppy, but Remora comes out on top. Holy. All of those are great football movies, guys. Yeah, Friday Night Lights, We Are Marshall, Waterboy, all of that. Foot dive is the best football movie, though. <laughs> Still works. Can't be foot dive. Okay, first of all, again, move doesn't get you much. Have to avoid the missiles. Jam session connects. And yes, jam session, I think, ate a lot of the missiles there. Hey, okay, kill zero, snap for Virgil. Seems to be the play. Definitely agree. That's huge for Yuli. He needs that momentum shift right now. 
Jam session, confirm at the top. Yes. Here's the pain continues. Oh. There is the snap. Well, for Virgil. To, stick it to the roadmap here. Oh, that's not going to work. That will. Keep yourself safe. Almost able to get the hit. Man, zero so small. He avoided most of it. For the S jam session. Okay, have the buster. That super jump S is Virgil was a really cute idea too. It was. Oh, okay. Ooh. We are just both brawl tagging back and forth. Oh no. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Call the police. <laughs> oh my god, the OTG still has a meter. Now they're talking about basketball movies in the chat. What's the best sports movie of all time? Let me know if you're watching this on YouTube. Best sports movie in general? Off the thing. Right, it's, it's Remember the Titans. That's, uh, that's top three. Easy. Moneyball. Moneyball way up there. Yeah, mine might still be Draft Day. I love that movie. Draft Day is great. There's just not any sports in it. Yeah. <laughs> they should be talking about sports. It's just like me. Look <laughs> <laughs> at move. Activate. He's like, he's like, I talk about Marvel all day. Don't try to play me, though. <laughs> Damn. Or more actually playing, though. He's not just talking about it. Really bleeding hard, losing his X Factor, losing his wife and kids. Damn, trying to approach behind the cover of missiles. So again, move activation, no meter on the side of Remora. Really had a very awkward falling L there. Was trying to get his Buster back, but didn't want to commit to a normal. <laughs> Not in time, right? Buster release, almost had it here for Remora. Lightning does connect. Oh, and Remora is able to get the kill here. This is huge right now. Bruh, those little baby busters. I'm seeing a lot of that tonight, man. It's actually been helping all the zero players out. I probably shouldn't say baby busters out loud. I think, <laughs> I think that's illegal in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it just barely connects with the lightning. OTG walks to the wall, and that is the kill. Virgil, no X. Plenty of meter, though. I'm still thinking about what Tom's <laughs> Oh my god, maybe it's time to start thinking about Remora. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. That's it, that's all it takes. Finish it up and move on forward. Remora, three to two. If you lose the main character, Remora says, no, no, no. Still, still sitting about that. All right, <laughs> eccentric <laughs> versus Remora. Something about that doesn't sit right with me, Tong Lee. <laughs> Oh, you know, these two good. guys were beefing for a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm so, hoping uh, I'm so hoping not. they patched it all up, they're friends now, you know? Sing a Barney song together. In the end, it's all love, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yo, shout out <laughs> to Boy Waffle coming through with the sub. <laughs> you inspired him. <laughs> shout out to the Prime, appreciate you. <laughs> I hope this is not your first stream, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying uh, quote unquote entertainment here. Oh my God. Anybody else see that confirmed from Remora? Right, it's Remora, baby. He wants to win. You didn't say it right, Tony. I didn't say what right. Baby. <laughs> right? I don't, like baby. The, I don't like the way you say baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Local weatherman, don't go around mine on me, all right? Damn, messy confirmed, but it still works out beautifully. More in good position right now. Josh, why do you say that like you were this little dad? <laughs> He said, it's the time for yourself you can't get back. Like, <laughs> he said, those damn rats. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Chun-Li is done with. Oh, oh no, we back with that? You know he's charging it. Oh, he was charging it. Box ring too tight. <laughs> All right, let's see if Accenture can turn it around here. The thing is, he's got to be able to get Ramora. Kind of uh, locked down a little bit, but it's hard oh. to do. Ramora is jumping around all over the place. Great start, though. Able to get with the spinning bird kick. Yeah, had to go for the TAC there at that point. 
Ooh, lucky you're able to block it out. Morgan is going to be able to get away from this situation, but is Chun Li good up back? All right, Chun Li is free for now. Oh no! Over the snap. Okay, you might be able to get five still. Get her out. I just see some green one. Me medium baby buster. I clean confirmed, standing heavy. Walk to the wall. Phoenix is confirmed at this point, unless we got some of the anti-tech. I mean, you can still do that, uh, you know, the X-Factor, the TAC, X-Factor, TAC. Yeah, you can definitely get away with that. You're 100% correct. Especially with some stuff. Cross under. Okay, able to get it. She's going to pop right here. Sword's definitely the right way from Remora. Just like the best possible pop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about this. Let's go. Going for some Z access. Ooh. Nonsense! Ooh. And anti airs with the swords. Dude, that is why. We say it all the time. That is why you need Meter as Virgil going into Phoenix. You have so much tech to beat her. You can make it a fair fight, which is absurd because it's Dark Phoenix. <laughs> you go, I'm a Phoenix player. Why y'all block? There you go, pick it up. Remora looking so strong right now. Ooh, this is rough because you're you're taking away the team's battery right now. Laser Dude asks, as Eccentric always run Team Ryan LV. Uh, Eccentric used to just play uh, Team Street Fighter, Chun Li, Ryu, Akuma, and uh, but. He's been playing this team for a pretty long time, at least a couple years now. Yeah, a, a while. Yeah, and he's pretty strong with it. Obviously, he wouldn't be top three right now in TNS with the stack bracket we had today. Off to the snap. This could decide the match right here. And gets the tag again, snap right away. Oh, Dad, the rapid the, slash! It perfectly hand delivers the alley-oop is ridiculous. Virgil, the craziest point guard you've ever seen. I was like LeBron and Wade. Oh, not able to convert that one. One last chance for Eccentric here to keep himself alive in this tournament. Chun Li moves so fast in X Factor. It's kind of crazy. But doesn't mean a whole lot. Remora can just jump around here. Oh, not for long, though. X Factor is going to last just long enough to kill Zero. It'll be such an impressive comeback at this point. Goes for the DP just to stall a little bit, but stalling is not going to help. Impressive, but seems impossible at this point with no X Factor. Oh, almost at the tech. He keeps, he keeps going up there and trading with Dr. Doom like it's not foot dive. It scares the shit out of me. Oh. Yeah. Missiles will certainly be enough to close that one out. And there you go, Remora. The snowball is rolling. I don't know who's going to stop it. In this <laughs> in this situation right now, I think Ramora has about a 15 to 20% chance of winning. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see, though. Ramora could prove me wrong here. I mean, offer it. Already looking good. We were talking about it earlier. The way he uses EM disruptors is just so strong. He does that at the perfect height consistently with the TKs. Yeah. Like most of the damage is though. Yeah, LT watches a lot of footage, bro. Like, he really understands. He's watched so much high-level Marvel. He's gone back in time to watch it. Like, whatever. He's got time to show. Here we go. Clean hit for Remora here. Now, are you going to see? He's going to opt the kill if you're going to go so again at this point. At 20%, that 1 in 5 is working overtime right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, fade. Oh, almost at the top. I was looking for the cross up, couldn't quite find what he's looking for. Oh. Does low profile the standing jab, finds the snap. Good block though. I think it's one of those situations if Ramora is able to reset, then LT goes to his main team yeah. after. Absolutely. And this is a good look for Ramora here, able to catch Phoenix and Magneto all up to Dr. Doom here in game one. I think if Ramora gets two games, LT swaps because he nah. doesn't want to reset. I, I think he's okay with that though. Either way, I mean, if Ramora plays like this, LT should probably swap now, because <laughs> that yeah. was a super strong game from him. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Dude, Remorse, call, Remorse playing hot. No, he just said, give me a different color. Oh, yeah, oh, you don't know. Mm. You know, this makes sense, though. This kind of adds up. Remora has been playing so well in this top eight. Feels like a different animal right now. Oh, he just swapped Plasma Beam. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, he went double beam instead of uh, missiles. Oh, he's trying to counter call and assist there. Yeah, yeah, trying to get rid of missiles there. 
Ooh, that's a pretty good way to get rid of the missiles. Able to find the launcher. Look at the health on Doom at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Ramon's gonna have to be very careful about Kong unless it's mid combo. I think he got a snap at three. Okay, he's gonna be confident in his incoming here. Doom. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, Ramora. <laughs> Damn, oh. Ramora just kind of danced on LT right now. <laughs> At least I missed my bionic arm. Yeah, that would have came in handy, right? It definitely would have. Our tag, keep it safe. No. Oh, content to fight it out a little bit. Finally goes for the tag, and it is ending up a safe tag. Clean hit here. Now you gotta play through, or do you snap for level two Dark Phoenix? Uh, probably just kill in order at this point. Set yourself up for success. Depending on how this goes, you can also set yourself up with Virgil. Clean hit there, okay. I love that. Now, you pop with the super. DHC, oh. DHC. I like this. He still has enough for blistering swords if he wanted to. Oh, but he Ooh. came down with a button. LT said he wasn't scared of the swords. Ramora didn't even think about the fact that he could actually get hit there. He just thought Phoenix would kind of block it. Oh, allows him time for X Factor. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, LT had so much meter too. LT just coming down with it. LT coming down with a button was the last thing I expected. Yeah. You know what I mean? That setup forces you to block normally. LT not trying to play that game. He's playing his own game. Yeah, and the idea was solid too, because he was crouching to low profile the pop, right? But a lot going on. Oh, oh DAC yeah. reset missiles. Good job from Ramora mashing that assist call. That's exactly what I was gonna use. Mashing. Because you have to. It's yeah, tight. Yeah. But that hits the assist, is able to completely back out afterwards. Rapid Slash gets a connection, jumps oh. up, and what felt like it was going to be a Remora positive situation, LT turns it into a throw and a reset. Yeah, the reset's definitely going to cost him right there. I think you spend here. You got five. Yep. Man, LT said, I don't need a switch. I just need a change of scenery. Beam is all I need. Yeah, Beam's been doing a good job of getting Doom out of the way here of missiles. There we go, so Genmu getting out of the corner. Magblast on the way down. Clean movement to be able to escape. Ooh. Couple mag blasts, able to chip. <laughs> Just the raw launcher. That's it, man. You know, when you're playing at this high of a level, you know, when you got two people here who competes at the highest level, you just just do the thing that they least expect, right? which is just stand there and push raw launcher. If you're expecting some crazy ass mix up. He's like, nah, I'm just gonna swing. It works. It does work. Fight. All right, set point here for LT. Dude, good use of the beam to be able to protect yourself. Even EM Disruptor is a commitment against Zero. The beam change has been the big thing here for LT. He's just more comfortable with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not, tough. It's not even like he's bad with missiles. He just has a mastery of beam. Well, it's, it's good because he has two of them. He has EM Disruptor being one of the faster ones in the game, and he's counter calling the assist. He's never getting missiles out cleanly if he's on the ground. Oh, both instances of lightning are able to connect. He's able to get the anti-air, and he gets the snap somehow from there. Phoenix is cooked. Oh, no. There we go. We're more back in now. Missile saving there. Got to find a way. Ah, it's kind of rough here, man. You want to pull zero out, but Doom's not carrying a lot of health either. I feel like at this point, you probably just leave him in. Uses the X Factor, so is going to commit to the zero point. But no, going to spend this meter switch into Virgil. That's X Factor a one, a little bit of time left. If you were going to pop X Factor right there, that's definitely the right call. Get the other characters out. Let them get some health back. X Factor throw. Missile's coming down. Evades almost. Yeah, unfortunately, because the X-Factor, the throw animation actually goes faster. That's a rare instance of X-Factor kind of beefing it up for you. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. LTs is running out as well. Photon's going to catch a little bit. Missile's going to catch a lot of it. 
all of us are barely connecting, gets the tag, manages to get away. That is oh, huge. That little judgment orb there negated the beam, so he was able to get missiles out cleanly. Okay, on the way back, missiles, photons are going to smoke him. Keeping that red health on Doom is very, very important here as we find the throw. The movement's going to move him way past, but one missile barely connects from the back of the cave. Oh, deck on the way down. H smart. falling down from Remora. The smart stuff, just like you're saying. Yeah, really good tech there. Ends up winning the day. And as you said, just mashing that H as you fall. Nobody ever, everybody remembers you can do it, but nobody expects it to happen. Yeah, because you feel like you're not at an advantage right there with all the assists falling down and everything. That's the Wong, by the way, coming through with the Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. This is it. lamar has got a chance here. One more game in the reset. I don't normally give people a 50-50 chance against LT, right? Unless you're Jabril or Evasion or somebody like that. But, man, I feel like Lamora has a very strong chance if he's able to pull off the reset today. I feel like his mental is just on another level right now. What's the release? Okay, able to get the assist here. Got to find a way to get Magneto. And this is the problem. You're going to go in the Dark Phoenix here probably no matter what. Good push block. Buy yourself some room. And as you've said, missiles have not been a factor. But we get that little cross-up. Can't quite fully connect, though. <gasps> Level three going right after Magneto. And he's able to block. He does not care, bro. I mean, that's a good call because uh, LT used bar there. So now you can catch now and get a snap immediately. If you can catch Dr. Doom, LT is doing a great job of just evading here. Go building the bar, it might be too late now. Mm, I are, think it's too late. Things are so difficult right now. Definitely not going to be able to find the snap at this point. You just got to do what you did last time and set yourself up for the best situation you can. Don't use any bar, try to get the kill here. Oh, what a great check there. Was that crouch light to anti-air that? It looked like it. And then a rising jump light to be able to stop the dash here. Virgil, normally you'd favor him in situations like this, but with no X, this is a nightmare. Our tag? Yeah, yeah, great choice here to bring in Phoenix, and it's going to be all over. Yeah, there you go. Put him in the air fryer. Nah, not even. LT wins his <laughs> million tournament. <laughs> Very good. A sign of mutual respect. Yes. He said, you got it. You know, like, they bow in Asia. You know what I mean? That's literally what they were doing. They were just bowing. Just quickly. Very quickly. Repeatedly. 